Hello, happy peoples. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I am coming to you from sunny Bethel, Alaska. I am over here at the local AC store or Alaska Commercial. And I'm gonna go walk in and do some shopping. I'm here on work. My wife has normally done a lot of shopping videos and I thought I would help her out with this one. And since I'm in Bethel on work, I am going to go into the AC store or Alaska Commercial store and go buy some groceries. And I'm actually I'm not gonna be here long enough to really need them. So I just thought I'd go buy some groceries, donate them to uh, a local church here. But I wanted to go look at the prices. Now guys, in Bethel, the way this works is that they do have barges, so like there's vehicles, you can actually barge or boat in vehicles, but not in the winter time. So when you start talking about groceries and especially fresh uh, produce, uh, everything is flown in here. Alaska's already expensive enough, but Bethel uh, tends to be more expensive. There's actually a lot, there's quite a few other uh, villages that are way more expensive than Bethel. But this is kind of like a hub. So these are probably the best prices you would find in a quote unquote, you know, a village. And I guess technically Bethel is a city, but it's kind of still, it's so remote. It feels a little bit like a village. Let's go into the Bethel Alaska commercial store and do some shopping. that are expensive, you wouldn't think are expensive, but you gotta remember the price is based on weight, being able to ship stuff in. Like for example, here's a $32 bottle of Tide. Ooh, it's on sale, it's totally on sale, yes. Some of the cheaper items that you can get here are ones that have a longer shelf life and they can um, send in on the barge and not have to fly them in. But that's only select items. Some that's gonna actually keep long enough to be able to make it to the dead of winter. Like in some places, they actually don't sell uh, not here, but they don't sell their bread unless it's frozen. They'll actually sell them frozen in the freezer to be able to make them last longer because they might have to hold on to it for a while. But this is actually, they have a really good selection here. I'm quite surprised. Other than some of the prices, like $25 water, what?
I did talk to the manager, or one of the managers, and I asked them if this AC store or Alaska Commercial store feeds the other AC stores that are up north in a lot of the remote villages. He said, actually, no. They'll feed individual people in these villages, but as far as their own AC store, they get their own, uh, they, it doesn't, the, the, the supplies do not flow through the store, so they get them sent directly, which is usually by airplane. So the, uh, the manager says, uh, some people have come up to him and asked, so like, how often do you guys get truck, truck shipments? And he just kind of looks at him like, must be new here. Unless the trucks have wings on them, we don't get them. I would quick scan of the cart leave your guess down below how much you think I spent Good. There was some really expensive stuff there, so I was trying to get some things that were a little more bang for the buck. And uh, it's, it's not it's not a lot, guys, but I figure why not? I'll go drop it off the local church. I'm sure somebody will eat it, and uh, I might even make a sandwich, maybe. <laughs> Appreciate you guys coming along and seeing the grocery shopping in Bethel, Alaska. Thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, if there was anything that surprised you price-wise or if it was pretty much what you expected for a remote Alaskan area So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video